More developing news right now. There is a $50,000 reward being offered in a deadly hit and run case. Police are searching for the driver responsible for killing a 58 year old man near USC. It happened March 10th. Elias Aceves was in a crosswalk when he was struck at the intersection of West 23rd and Portland streets. Cake Online's Dave Lopez live in downtown LA with the effort to find the killer. Dave. Well, it was a passionate plea by the uh, city council member of that area, Gil Cedillo, flanked by family members, his mother, and the council by a 12 0 vote voted the $50,000 reward. Now, there is video in this. It is somewhat difficult to look at, but it is important because the car can clearly be seen running over Acevas. You can see Mr. Acevas in this video as he entered a marked crosswalk. It was 9.15 in the evening, not, not far from the USC campus. He was in that marked crosswalk, and you can plainly see a dark-colored vehicle coming by and running over him. We've stopped the video before the actual contact. He was flown 70 feet in the air, killed instantly, and and they cannot see the license plate nor inside because the windows are dark. Thus, the police say they are stymied. They've done everything they can. So today, the city council was asked to give a $50,000 reward, and they granted it. Afterward, the mother and the brother of Acevas had this to say. This reward is just an opening to get somebody out there to talk and shed some light to this case. The situation that, that we're going through, our family has devastated us completely. We have never had a loss. Oh, yo nomás quiero que se haga justicia. In Spanish, the mother went on to say that all she wants is justice for whoever killed her son. She then also said that he was my companion. He lived with his mother. He took care of his mother. He was on his way back to that apartment after buying a lotto ticket that night. And again, he was clearly in the crosswalk. And the mother said, I am so lonely, so depressed without him. Again, the police have it all on video, but they cannot get the license plate or see who was driving it. And now $50,000 will get you that kind of money if you have any information. Reporting live from downtown Los Angeles, Dave Lopez, Kick on 9 News.